Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO interview tutorials. I hope you guys are doing really well and learning lots of videos. If you have not, uh, please check out our playlist. You will get our videos related to Six Sigma certification, quality team lead, operation team lead, associates, KPI and mini excel tricks along with reports and dashboards that will help you in your regular task. Please do watch guys and don't miss to uh, click on subscribe so that you guys will get a notification whenever a new video will get updated. Let's move to the today's concept and before that please click on subscribe option and click on thanks button guys if I'm uh, helping you a lot to the uh, growth in your career if I'm supporting you a lot please click on the thanks option as well as subscribe and the bell icon guys so that you guys can get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. So uh, today concept we are here to see on PKT. So today concept actually based on trainers. So we are preparing our videos related to the training team. So they will also get a good support. If a person is preparing for the trainer role, please do watch this video. This is very important to understand what is PKT. So before moving to this video, I would like to tell everyone PKT is not only for trainers uh, even quality team team leads uh, other can also use it and uh, because this will help you uh, to identify uh, the knowledge gap if there is any in your associate in your align associate so let's start today's concept that is pkt process knowledge test so first of all we will see what is uh, the use of pkt and what is the need of pkt so PKT is the important part in process as it will help us to understand either the associates having uh, the necessary process knowledge or not or else the every every uh, updates are being understood by the processor or the associate or not. So this is help. Uh, this is a good help uh, for the associate uh, and post completion of the training trainers used to conduct PKT for new hired associates and on the basis of that they will certify them and associates are moved for the production so the people who are working in BPO company they know very well that whenever a fresher or any associate join to the team first of all there will be a training for next 10 days 15 days or else for 20 days on the basis of there will be a test the test is actually known as PKT process knowledge test it totally depend on training team or else it totally depend on process SOP uh, that uh, how many times the test need to be conducted. On the basis of the test scores, the associate is moved for the production. It can be conducted for TL, QA and trainer as everyone should have proper process knowledge. This is not necessary that only associate need to give the PKT. So here uh, managers also can conduct a PKT for managers in the sense uh, for the quality people quality team lead for the team leads managers will conduct or else quality team also can conduct for the team lead operation team leads and for trainers also there will be a PKT guys it totally depend again I'm telling you totally depend process to process and on the SOP uh, so trainer also conduct PKT twice for a month for all the associate totally depend on SOP SOP standard operating procedure for an example like you are working with uh, XYZ process and uh, they have set a certain targets KRA a certain uh, plan was set on that way the process need to be followed and this actually will be shared by the client uh, to the, uh, the the company so that uh, the, the team who is working for that particular process they will follow the SOP so this is standard operating procedure so it may be conducted in the form of objective type questions, image based, image based question, etc. So we can conduct this uh, in the form of objective type. Somewhere I have seen that people are conducting PKT test using Google form, wherein they are preparing questions, they are keeping their objective type questions. Uh, first they will ask associate to uh, enter his name and the, the employee ID, the team lead name and they will ask the associate to submit the text automatically how many associates have submitted they will get the report from that particular google form so i hope the people who are working as an uh, team lead keyword trainer they know very well about this uh, so i'm just giving you an uh, the uh, i can say this this is an uh, threshold of 85% but again it vary to process to process and there would be 
approximately or minimum 20 questions for the PKD. This is just an uh, uh, example guys. It totally depends on again process to process what is the target set by them. That if the associate is getting 10 questions example if he clearing uh, 9 questions then he is certified. If he is clearing 8 which is the score is 80 he is not certified. So they totally depend on the SOPs what are being set by the management. So I hope you got a clear understanding about the PKT. Let's move to the advantage of the PKT. With the help of PKT, we can easily identify if there is any knowledge gap uh, uh, identified for the processor or else associate. Reason I'll tell you guys. For an example, you're working uh, from the work from home situation right now. Okay. And uh, you, are, you have like around 20 associates aligned to you. Monitoring those 20 associates regularly while work from uh, home is quite difficult. So I would suggest all the team leads or quality team to conduct at least uh, once one PKT every week. The reason I'll tell you in that PKT please include 20 questions which are based on latest update, top pain parameters or else top pain topics wherein we are getting multiple errors. You can also keep some vintage topic, vintage topic in the sense the topics uh, which are the old updates but right now we are getting less concerns on them but yes if we get any concern on that associates should get aware with it so in this way at least i would suggest a quality or trainer should conduct a pkt once in a week and publish the scores and you can also publish this score by end of the month also while collating all the three four week scores it totally depend on you how you want to publish the report processor will get information about latest and old updates if he is missing or else missed out any training session example if the associate was on leave and he did not uh, got the required update from the trainer or QA or team lead okay and he even did not ask to his nearby associate also that what are the latest update we have received by every week quality team or training team is conducting a PKT uh, definitely uh, this is something which wherein there are two ways to conduct a PKT first there would be a PKT by the trainer TLA that would be a process level PKT reason that is a part of the KRA. KRA in the sense with the help of those scores or because of that scores the PLA or bonus or incentive would be calculated. But the, the reason I'm telling you to conduct PKT every week that is not a pay part of KRA but that will help associate to gain the process knowledge back and if he is missing out with any information he will get the information back there. Okay, so this is totally depend on you how you want to gauge your associate or how you want to train your associate and uh, this will also help us to understand if there is any malpractice or inefficiency are there uh, with the associate if he is missing out with any part of the process knowledge. PKT keep associate motivated reason you will be sharing email in front of managers. Uh, I have seen people are uh, sharing the PKT result in a form of ranking that he got a first rank, second rank and third rank. Uh, from the overall 200 associate in the PKT so it it keep motivated them and it will help them to grow for their further career also so PKT is also a part of KRA for the associate like QA, TLS and trainers it totally depend like uh, uh, for an example I have seen that uh, for the training team yes PKT is necessary uh, the associates who are aligned to them they need to conduct the PKT and the score should be more than 95% if it is not less, more than 95% then their PLA score will get impacted, the trainer PLA. Not even trainer PLA, the associate PLA score also get impacted. PLA is, uh, just you can understand that is an incentives, okay. The bonus what you are getting because of the hard work and the work, the scores what you are getting, okay. So I hope you got the clear understanding about the PKT and what is the advantage of it and uh, what this PKT bring. Uh, once you conduct it and what the knowledge gap you will identify from the associate over, overall you will get to know that uh, the who are the troublemaker associate in your team so I would suggest everyone to do this uh, so guys this is a format of the PKT how you can do again I'm telling you guys it totally depend uh, on you guys how you want to prepare it because you know Excel you can prepare a report in multiple way this is just an example which i am showing you wherein uh, i have the associate name then the team lead name i am i'm just mentioning the questions here one two three four five questions they totally depend on you how many questions you want to ask and i just mentioned their pass and fail that here you can see uh, i have asked john uh, five questions 
wherein he gave a uh, three correct answers so i just mentioned three as a pass and he gave two wrong answer i mentioned two as a fail same i conducted this pkd for rest other associate also and nearby i have just mentioned the questions it, it these are just a dummy questions guys they are demo questions uh, it totally depend on you how you want to ask the questions or like on what topic you want to ask the questions so this is all about the pkt guys like how you can do this and uh, now let we will uh, learn that uh, how we can prepare this particular report so i'm just giving you this example reason this is very very much necessary guys to prepare it and uh, please implement it so that you guys can uh, get a good good knowledge and uh, you guys can show a good repo in front of your manager that yes you guys are focusing on the team uh, with regards to their process knowledge as well so that's it from my side guys if you have any doubt please let me know so that i can help you with